we've been asked to provide some more detailed instructions on our cardboard box houses that we make. Now on the left is the original design that we used and on the right is our other design that I haven't showed you before but we thought we would join them together and just show you how you can make this toy even more exciting for rats. So it's a very fun easy toy, rats absolutely love it and when it gets dirty and a bit smelly you can just get rid of the box and replace it with another one. You can use all different sizes of boxes, you can alternate large boxes and small boxes and just make it into a wonderful toy. Now the only other thing that you need to actually buy is the flexible tubes. Now you might have some other tubes that will work, you could probably attach some straight tubes rather than the flexible tubes. Um, these, these are just to give us a bit more variety because we can make it a little bit more exciting. But these are the wrap ferret size flexible tubes, pet tubes. They're around about £2.50. Yeah, the price does vary online. Available from lots of places, lots of bright colours. Um, Amazon, wrap warehouse, Viovet. I've seen them in lots of places. So just shop around. But do get you know the wrap ferret size. You don't want your little rats trying to squash through a mouse sized tube. So um, always store your cardboard boxes somewhere where they're going to be clean and dry. I wouldn't recommend you store them in sheds or um, garages. Keep them in the house somewhere till you're ready to use them. We don't use ones that have been stapled. We use ones that have been taped but make sure the tape is secure. And remove any loose bits from around the edges and things and any labels. Um, that are hanging off and that sort of thing and the only other thing you're going to need is um, you can use scissors but we find it very hard to cut card with scissors although it can be done if you've got some sharp scissors um, a pencil and what we use is a craft knife and I'm just going to say if you use a craft knife you'd be very very careful always cut away from you keep your fingers away from the blade um, if you're a child then Please don't use the craft knife, ask an adult for help and even if you're using the scissors and you're a child, please ask an adult to come and help you. At two people it's always easier when you're doing something like this and we don't want anyone to have any nasty accidents. So there we go, so what we do is we just take this tube out for a minute so I can move the box around. So it's quite a tight fit but you need that otherwise it's going to fall apart. So with our original box, see if we can just adjust the camera a little bit. This is just one of the top flaps. So what we did was, from two opposite ends, we removed the top flaps and we used those to make ramps. We left these two opposite sides on as a lid. Now we don't stick the lids down because we might want to get in and retrieve a rat that won't come in out of pl after playtime. You can see how much they love this. They filled it with paper, tissues, um, toys and a lottery ticket so there we go now what you do with the when you've got the two flaps from the top off is you cut on one side a few centimeters apart two slits along here just slightly slightly longer than the short edge of the flap now one of them you're going to post from inside out and that rests on tissue boxes and that leaves a little tunnel along the inside where the rats have another little hiding place and the other one you're going to post from outside in through this little slit here I put it in a fair way so it doesn't fall out and that provides a little ramp where the rats can get onto the top of the box so that's that bit done so then we turn the box around and in this side we would pencil in a little door shape, cut around the door shape, leaving it attached um, and that is because we want to be able to shut that over, especially if it's a cold day and the rats can easily poke it open from one side. So that's like a permanent entrance and exit into the house. And on the opposite side to that, I mean that is optional, you could do another circle, it's just the way we did it when we made the original box. And on this side, you imagine you see your circle would be in there. And we would get the flexible tube, we place it up against the, the box and we'd get our pencil. Let's see if we can do this here. 
and you see we would draw just inside the circle it needs to be fairly tight so we draw around just inside and then we would use our knife to to cut out that circle completely that one's gone a bit wonky there but I think we tried cutting that one with the scissors when we did it and it didn't work very well so we went back to the knife so that is that box finished now with this taller box what we've done is let's see if I can adjust the camera a little bit We've left all the top flaps on to this one. We haven't done any ramps, but the, the rats will probably find a way to get in from the top, but um, I don't think they will. They're usually so busy with getting in the bottom. Now, the same thing. On one side, we cut the circle hole, so and we've already attached the tube to that. In the opposite side, we've cut the circle hole, but as you can see we've left two centimeters here so it is actually still attached now we've left that on purpose um, that it can be closed over and just left like that or it can be left open or the rats can push it open themselves and at a later date if we have another box we can completely remove that and attach another tube and now we can make the house even bigger now on the other remaining sides, because this is quite a deep box, we put some little ventilation holes here. Let's just see if we can move that round. Two little slits on this side, and then opposite that, we've got a little square so the rats can poke their little heads out and have a look and see what's happening. And I have put inside here, at the moment there is um, a tissue box which is wobbling about, but there's a tissue box in there for them and they will fill that with some paper so you're now ready that you can attach the houses to each other so we've got our new house and we're going to attach it to our original house and you see here you have to push those in a little bit so there we have the two houses attached together and you can keep adding houses and you can make that as long as you want and it's just a brilliant toy and just for a few pounds for the tubes.